and welcome back to the horror channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at something which is absolutely amazing because as you can see behind me I do have a whole host of NECA collectibles. I love horror, horror is my jam, I absolutely love horror. We've got all the horror figures spanning all these shelves by here. Obviously we've got Hellraiser which is my favourite horror character ever for Pinhead. Then you got Ghostface, we got the Jasons, we got Michael Myers, we got the Ashes, we've even got Shaun of the Dead from one of the very first movie maniacs that NECA did back in the day. And obviously over here you can see I've got the Ninja Turtles and the Gremlins. And what NECA have gone and done, yesterday they revealed the Michael Myers ultimate version from their line for Halloween Kills. And so we're going to jump on in to have a look. To me, this figure just looks absolutely amazing. It is kind of bloody disgusting, but what you got here, the upcoming battle damaged version of Michael Myers from the movie. Obviously, we've seen in the trailer how he gets out of the basement. We've seen him attack and murder all the firemen. We've seen him with a disc cutter. We've seen him stabbing the fire, uh, fire poke axe into the guy's face, and it's the camera angle, it's the POV. I just cannot wait for this movie and we haven't got long to wait now it's just over a month and a half away and I am so excited to see it but as you can see the figure just looks amazing just the detail the burnt mask all ripped up he's got bullet holes in him it is going to be a fantastic figure obviously these are the screen accurate Michael Myers stands seven inches and tall obviously comes with knives a baseball bat a bulb skull mask and a halogen bar, an interchangeable head and hands. Woo, interchangeable heads, they say. Come in collector-friendly window box packaging with opening front panel, which I absolutely love when they do that. NECA's Halloween kill figure is set for release in fall of this year. It's actually set for, I believe, the end of October, I've been told by Forbidden Planet, which is the local shop to me, where I get mine from. And yes, that skull mask is indeed the mask from Halloween 3, which makes an Easter egg appearance in the movie. Film comes out October 15th. Go and see it. So there we have Michael with a halogen bar, and he just looks amazing. The detail on that mask just looks brilliant. Well, the entire sculpt on the body just looks great. Obviously, there we got the uh, the light bulb, which we see in the trailer where he stabs a woman in the throat with it, which I cannot wait. This film looks like it's going to be brutal as hell, and I cannot wait for it. There we have the shamrock mask, which is just brilliant. And I really do hope that you may be able to put that one on him, interchangeable head. Probably not, but you never know. And there's Michael just ready to, uh, you know, batter up. He's ready with a couple of things. But we do see that uh, Tommy, he actually has that bat in the trailer where he aims it at the uh, camera. So maybe he takes it and he kills him. Who knows? But then anyway, you can't have Michael Myers without the old butcher knife. This is what we have by here, the butcher knife with him. His fingers, his bottom two have gone, so it just looks amazing. And there we go, a nice up-close image of the burnt side of his face and body, which just looks brilliant. Even the bullet hole sculpts look great. And it, to me, it's one of the best sculpts they've actually got for Michael Myers. I wonder if they're going to bring this out in a quarter scale, because they did that for the 2018 uh, Michael Myers. So if they do that, I may have to get that one. But this is what we got. So obviously, all the weapons, a bloody knife, a normal knife, the halogen bar, baseball bat, the mask, and the light tube. But it says, oh, here we go, the interchangeable head is right by there with the hands as well. So, the head, ooh, a little bit more uh, menacing, or is it a little, bit, a little bit more cleaner looking? We don't know. We'll have to find that out. And this is the box art they're using for it, which is just absolutely amazing. This is only a short little video, as we're saying, because we just want to show the figure off. I cannot wait to get this, and I will be, uh, I will probably be doing a review on it, because for the horror channel, as you can see, I am an avid collector of horror memorabilia. And I will be doing more things like that on this channel. So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for more horror content. And I'll see you all in the fog.